Hello everyone, and welcome back to a new episode of Wildermyth. I am back from my vacation. I have collectively driven like 12 to 13 hours the past two days, so I was very, very worn out, so I'm recording this basically the day that it's going up, a few hours before it goes up actually. So uh, we'll see what we can do, we'll see what we can accomplish. Um, I was bringing a bunch of characters over here, but we actually don't want to do that. They're, ju they're just going to go help that. We need to do this battle. We need to do this battle. So, Oral, Millie, Fidbora, Ardana, Andra. Let's go. I need to get back into the groove of things here. Splinter. Erp. Hey, got a splinter. I hate when that happens. See, so you've got a splinter? If a splinter is, uh, if a splinter is what I think it is, then yeah, I got a splinter. You've got a splinter? That's why I stay off those porch chairs. I got a... what it looks like a... You, I mean, I got a mean splinter. See, he's sliding past an elm. That's my specialty, splinter picker. Mosquito chaser, show me. I had a terrible splinter that happened to me one time. Um, it was actually on our, like, little rail as you go down the stairs in our house. Uh, and it got, like... Like, I was moving my hand across the rail, and there was a piece of wood sticking out, when, like, right into my thumb. It was very deep and was in there for quite a long time um, before it pushed out. I had tried to get it out myself, but it seemed like, you know, it was kind of working its way out, but it was very annoying for a bit. It eventually just kind of popped out on its own. What's it look like? No, actually, don't tell me. Is it gross? I don't want to look. Well, that's some splinter. The more I look at it, the deeper it's in, it seems to wriggle. Mm. Here, trust me. Oh, whatever, I'll get it out later. No. This won't hurt a bit. It won't- Ow! Whoops, but here it comes, painless and easy. Ugh. Enough! Sorry. Here, got it. Bora holds a long, wet wood filament up to the light. Trees full of the, and trees are full of these. Dora slips it into a corded pouch, places it in Millie's hands. Here, you take it. You can show the boys at the tavern; they'll love it. And with that, they carry on to Humble Badger Windworks. Okay, cool. We removed the splinter. God, I remember. Speaking of splinters, this wasn't a splinter, but it was something terrible that had happened. Um, when I was younger, I had touched something that was um, that was like rusty, and didn't even think about it. Oh my god, the, 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 the piece of rust basically was like a splinter and had embedded itself in my skin. Uh, that was painful as all hell. Um, so, yeah. Oh god, we gotta deal with raid knights and gore lords again, and terror birds, ah! And haunts? Oh, this is not gonna be a fun. This is not going to be a fun at all. Huh. This is, in fact, going to be the opposite of a fun. It's going to be a bad. Hmm. Go ahead and interfuse with this campfire. And illuminate it. I want to get as set up as we possibly can. Over here. Uh, Andra, you're probably going to be near the door. We can go ahead and silk step with you as well, I guess. Millie, you have arches. Let's see. If Fidbora interfuses with the stone, I think we get um, the one benefit from that. Uh, calcify. So web weight on that. Okay, and we'll just wait a second. See what happens with the door. Okay, open door. Oh, that's a lot of enemies. <laughs> Oh no. That's a lot of enemies. That's a whole lot of enemies. Oh my god. Uh. Uh. Oh, I really, really hate that. Um. Uh huh. I mean, Oral can get there. Oral is not that tanky, though. Um. Melee strike. This does 10 damage. The other does also 10 damage. So definitely worth sticking with this. Yeesh. Um. 
I mean, you're gonna need to sit here. Oh, I actually should have moved you up even further. You could have pecked then too, but it's fine. We killed. Ooh, that's very good. Sorry, I accidentally hit my mic. <laughs> that is super, super good. Um, unfortunately, I can't actually throw fire at you. Um, I can interfuse with the blaze though. Now that you've spawned some, and we can do one of these. Oh, that's, that's phenomenal. God, what a fantastic, fantastic time for you to stunt. Oh my god. Um, well, this went shockingly well. Uh, let's see. Is there, any, is there anything that would be worth it to Quelling Moss? You know what? What if I move right here? Ah, uh, Quelling Moss is not, yeah, so... I mean, the Raid Knight, I'm pretty sure, is dead. Let's confirm the death on that, because I'm hidden now. Okay, who else do we have? We have Andra coming in. So we can do one of those. I can move you right here, and you'll be able to shoot the Raid Knight to confirm the kill. There we go. Oh god, this is working swimmingly. <laughs> Things are, things are going very, very well right now for us. Uh, I think this is probably my best call. Let's interfuse into the bucket. And I can shackle you so you can't do anything to us. And you won't trigger the uh, trap because I want them to trigger that. Okay, yeah, this is going stupid well. Bye-bye, uh, darts. That's one of those down. You shoot Oral, but Oral blocked it, so it's fine. There we go. Okay. I can do another Fire Lash. Uh, that would kill you. So let's go ahead and do that. Raid Knight is down. Ardana? You could throw... Can't right, quite reach the Gore Lord and the Dart. That would kill the dart, though. So let's throw that. We do lose our hidden, but then I can shoot the Gore Lord as well. The dart is dead at the start of their next turn now. I can put Jump Jaws down right here, as well as move you into a spot where you can hit the Gore Lord too. Or I could ambush the Gore Lord. Um, let's do that. It'll do more damage. Of course, let's see. If I shoot you, you'll be down to that much HP. You're gonna have to walk around, so actually just shoot it. Because, well, you can walk through the fire damage because you have two warding, actually. But I still think that's a good call. Let's move you over here. Interfuse with the rope. And I will be able to constrict you. Gore Lord down. Dart is dead. Oh my god, this is going great. This is going wonderfully. Um, Guardian. All we really have to deal with are the few more darts and the terror bird. And you just got... End, which uh, I did see a cool comment um, actually that mentioned that uh, terror birds are not just a fantasy thing um, it does make sense but they were apparently real creatures at some point which is really really cool it makes sense they look like you know like basically like a raptor um, so that is very very cool I've only ever seen it in media and it's not something it's one of those things like I, I never really thought about so very very cool to get confirmation on that so many interesting creatures across across history and things like that it's so so cool like I think of like the the, the giant sloth thing that was really cool um, the giant centipede <laughs> there just there's there's a lot of neat stuff uh, okay where's another enemy there's nothing back there oh it might be the um, whatchamacallum the, uh, the, the, the spirit's still alive. That's probably it, actually. Yeah. 
Okay, yeah, that's just the spirit leaving. Okay. Yeah, that was incredibly easy. I was kind of intimidated at first, but those creatures seem like they're kind of easy to fight. Ooh. Sure pride of Cloud Bog. Okay. Um You're retiring. Hmm. Oral. We have all of that. Does anybody have like a tier one bow? No, not at all, actually. Great Axe, Dueling Sword, you already have the Tier 2 bow. I can give, like, Millie, like, a bow. It doesn't seem super useful, though. It always seems like it'd be a better idea to mostly just do that, but... Let's let's give Millie a bow, just just because I don't really have anybody better to put it on. What would I get if I salvaged it? Heartwood. I'm pretty good on Heartwoods. We'll, we'll give you the bow, just for options, I guess. Plus 6 stunt chance now. Your stunt effect is, like, really, really good, right? What gear do you have? Oh, wait, no, you don't You don't have a full stunt effect, actually. And I don't think any of your abilities... Yeah, benefit much from stunting. So... Considering how good Oral's thing is... Aw, oh, but Oral already has one. Hmm. Millie, maybe, then? I, I guess Ardana. Ardana is, yeah, is very good. Extra potency, now that goes on Millie. Good. Fodder? Caw? Caw, caw. Enjoy yourselves, brothers. The buffet's back that way. You'll be doing the Yandering Lands a favor. Mind you don't pick up any diseases. I'm sure it can't be all emeralds and sunsets, I guess. Yeah, I mean, uh, creatures that, what, what's, what's the word? Like scavengers and stuff are very, very important, you know? They, 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 they do their thing to help out. It's good. Here we go. Awesome. So, they can secure that, which gives me fabric and wood, which, yeah, you know, it would be pretty useful and it'll only take 20 days. Um, I'm mostly just doing it for the wood, in all honesty. Gear sights, heartwoods, fabric, Wolf Heart Cloak, extra HP. That you have 10 HP. Evener has less. Let's give it to Evener. Yeah. All right, squad. Go scout that next area. Skier site completed. Provide resources, and we got the Silver Bark Sash. Uh, Oral or Evener? Who has better block? Uh, Evener, so let's give it to Oral. Okay, and then this other squad goes up here to reveal that, and we'll see how things go. One of the forest trails dribbles into swamp, disappearing among pools and rooty trunks. Dragonflies garble the air with their wings and whirs. So if a cardinal marries a blue jay and they have eggs, does that make a purple bird? That's really true, and I'm not, and I've now decided to insist, then how come I never see violent jardinals or plum case? Hey, Blunderfoot, you strike me as an easy mark. Huh? Hmm? Well, who are you? A, a rover? That's right, a rover, a wind chaser. My name's Josie Griff. Some there, some there are that just call me Lucky Josie, or the Million Trick Lady. Some just call me the Gambler. I don't remember which one you are. You can quiz yourself and usually find out, unless you've been at the bottle. Which, you look like you've been at it more than most of us. Where else have you been? Part of why I'm headed home. No need for whiskey when I'm warm with my woman, but here... Josie produces a small box banded in bright brass. Behold! She sets it on a stone. Chance meeting reminds us that chances are fleeting. Here's a little betting box. How about two strangers wager together in the wet marsh? Game is guessing what's inside? You're aware it is your wager. You'll pay what you say. I guess something worn, a trinket? The essence of life itself. In a box, maybe some precious materials, the essence of life itself. Like, 51% chance? <laughs> like, something worn, maybe a trinket? It has a 51% chance of succeeding. I'm kind of interested, interested in doing that. But, it's, you said your word is your wager, you'll pay what you say. So, if I do this and I miss the roll, I think you're gonna lose lifespan. 
but I have so many trinkets, and I don't need materials. I'm gonna roll. I'm gonna roll on the essence of life itself and see if we can get, like, more retirement age or something. Let's go. Uh, the essence of life itself. Am I right? What? How can I possibly be right? What? I got my, uh, I got my hands on some kind of blood of the world type elixir and I stuck it in a bedding box? Shut up. It's not that ridiculous. This would be something that Millie would say to... leans into your character, I feel. Licks the lid open? To see a vial of glowing liquid lying corked and nestled in crushed velvet. How could you possibly have guessed that? That's blood of the world. I, it's, I, I mean, it barely even exists. Wait, really? I was wondering how you'd make me pay for getting that one wrong. <laughs> no, let's not think about that. Must be You must be friends with fate. Still feel like an impulsive idiot. Kinda don't deserve the thing. Serving is an illusion. Life's just chaos crossed by a few loose patterns. People have had to dodge to smuggle that little potion all this way. If I were you, I'd drink it down as soon as I could. Did you steal it? When I in a gambling house they call the Rolling Grave. Unsavory place, but the prizes, the stakes, as you can see, they're often quite unique. What's your name? Did you say it? Millie Grands. But you want it? And it's for real? I want it. And like all winnings, it eludes a hoarding heart. I do hope it goes down smooth, Millie Grand. And gives you enduring health. And may fortunes find us on a drinking bench someday. Plus one health. Oh, okay, it's just HP. It's not retirement age. Well, that's still cool. A permanent HP increase for one of my characters is quite neat. Um... Okay, so let's decide who we want to go over here and scout the battlefield. <sighs> so... We gotta see which of our characters are actually retiring. That's important. So... If I put in Andra... Where do you actually see if they're retiring? Retiring this chapter, there we go. After this chapter, 60, so... I want to prioritize experience on my characters that are not retiring, so let's give Oral... is retiring... Millie... Evaner... And... I guess at this point, Kati or Rumwar? Because Rumwar's not retiring. Um, you also have Skunk, which is nice. Stats, retirement age 65, yeah, so you're not retiring this chapter, you're retiring the next. This looks like an okay squad, we do only have one, uh, one of you, but... Still pretty good. Let's let the, uh, let's have the old blood set this one out. And see what we're doing here. Ah, um... 30% extra health on Weldlings? No thank you. Um, Groundskeeper having extra armor and warding isn't that bad. More sommelier is kind of annoying. I'll get rid of that too. I don't I don't want them to get too many positive effects. So let's go. Good. Squad. Like some flower oaks has been revealed. Assault gem stack. And we don't really have anything else to do, so I am gonna have to do this this episode, even though I wanted this to be a 30 minute. -er. But uh it's the final fight. Make sure you're ready. Let's go team. And this is the third chapter? Oh no, chapter four, never mind. So even if that did give retirement age, that wouldn't have been very helpful because we're about to enter the final chapter, so. Let go. Assault. Done. Oh yeah, gotta play. If you knew what you were looking for, the split boulder north of Jim Stack wasn't difficult to find. Guess I shouldn't be surprised, but I am. Sunlight. Hmm? Smart enough to stay out of more Thoggy strongholds, I'm apparently not. Uh-oh. Stop. Put your weapons down. It's me. Joe? You and I talk about... Uh, reinventing myself? It's like, uh, longer to explain than we can afford. Would you like the short version or the extremely short version? Uh, short's probably... Extremely short, please. Well, it turns out that you can put a human soul into a specialized Morthoggy body. The combination of mechanism and magic is novel in that... Extremely... Short... Feller here, they've been- they've kept an enclave of these folks sticking for a long time, but due to a, er... Uh, disagreement. At the beginning of their endeavor, Marthagi you are familiar with have been created with the singular mission of destroying them. Us, now, I suppose. They've been relentless in hunting us down, denying us resources. 
the point of destroying entire towns. But if we can take back our stronghold here, we can deal them a great blow. Let us lead you to the heart room, and I'll explain further. We are not beings of war ourselves, but if you can cut down more Thoggy along the way, Kadonkazer, I can lock the doors once we get there, Tobias, in it some time. We won't be able to clear all of them out at first. Focus on moving forward. Okay. Bellhop? Steam hissing from its torso, it has a surprisingly strong grip for its diminutive form. Ugh. Okay, and I have to protect you two. I, yeah, escort Bellor to the central room. Bellor must survive, but Joe doesn't need to. Oh no! That's pretty crazy. Um, so we gotta get you over to here. Interesting. Okay. So, can I interfuse with anything interesting? Just a disc. Um, how much does this do to poison? So not like the best. Could be useful though. For poisoning both of them, because it does do true damage, specifically. And throwing a rock at them. I could at least like stun one of them in a certain spot. Because they do they do have high magic resistance. Well the bellhop doesn't, but you do. Bone lance. Pierce? Let's do let's do the bone lance. Um, I'll be able to do big damage to both of them, or one of them. Yeah, I guess it's the, the chance was depending on if it hit or not there. Okay, so what else do we want? Um, your quelling moss does four, whereas this is significantly worse. So we're gonna throw the quelling moss down on these two. Okay, so the bellhop is dead. 100% dead. Uh, Bellor, I need to make sure you survive. Millie. Uh, swap weapon. Interfuse. And hit the butler, I think. Let's move you forward a little. And discus. There we go. The damage, yeah, I mean, it killed you, but, yeah, I didn't, I didn't really need to, but, okay. Uh, you do have Paladin. Okay, that's, that's what I want. I did want some Paladin. Okay, we are good there. You can get over here and armor up. And then you have Crush. So, don't know if we'll actually be able to kill the butler. Maybe? Depends on if, like, this thing enters your zone and stuff. Okay, they're getting their bone links going. There we go. Okay, that's what I was curious about. Cool. So, we did manage to get the kill there. Um, we are... I... I, th I think with, let's see, four? Four poison. Like, and if I do that, like... That's four, the spectics, they just need to be a little bit more poisoned and basically all of them are dying. Obviously I don't want to poison uh, Evaner though, so... Let's get you out of there. Um. Mm. Let's see, does this provide cover? Partial cover. We can get you over here. And go into... Ooh, I could throw axe something. Five damage, some shred. Let's uh, throw axe you. And then what does more damage? I'm imagining the the other weapon. Yeah, so let's Guardian. Uh, having the Dueling Sword out would give you more block, but whatever. Um, Ardana. Quelling Moss, if you please. Bonk. Good stuff, so most of them are dead now. I could in fact throw another one but then I won't be able to move. And the only things I can really shoot are these. I could throw another one though, and then all like all of them are dead. For sure. 
Let's do that. Okay. Eight poison. Oh, the, the bellhop dodged it, but that's fine. That's actually totally fine. Uh, Beller. Let's see. Millie. What could you grab? You could... Let's see, Beller. So the... the the poison's effectively going to happen right at the beginning of the turn. I'm just trying to make sure Beller doesn't get into a situation where he could potentially die. Because there are a lot of enemies around here, and I need Beller to survive. So... Joe, you move right there. Hmm. Hmm. These are the questions. Uh, Rumor could potentially do some stuff. The only thing I have to worry about with Rumor is Rumor is kind of squishy. If I did this, though, I could then take out one Spectic or do some pretty big damage to these two. Let's do that. Oh, but you dodged it. Jerk. Uh, so yeah, effectively all of them are dead except for the Bellhop. And Joe could attack... But you do four to six damage. Millie can assist, if need be. 63% um, chance to hit though, that's not worth it. Um, mm, oral. Mm. You'll do more damage. I also could have just had Oral walk in and do some stuff. I'm gonna have Oral move over here though. And have you guard. Joe. Uh Okay, Beller. Let's see, this thing only has four poison. The bellhop is poisoned, we'll take that much damage. I think I'm gonna have these two both go into Guardian, so if the enemies come at them, we're safe. I'll have you shoot the bellhop in the off chance that you hit. You actually did. So we are totally good. All of those enemies are dead. Kill three enemies with poison in a single turn. I am indeed a plague doctor. That was very, very nice. That's fine. Apple blocked it. Okay, and now the spectics are coming through. They told me to not focus on trying to kill all of them just to get to the zone, but I still need to safely get them to the zone. Oh god, I didn't even see you spawn back there. And those things can move far. Ah, oh, there's a coachman. Whew. Um. I don't know where that coachman just spawned. I'm gonna guess, like, over here. Not fun. Uh... Madonna with your Quelling Moss. We could do some real work here. The only thing I wish is that I could get slightly further in so we could kill, so we could hit the Watchman too. I suppose I could do this. Yeah, we can move closer and Quelling Moss all of them, basically. Uh, the only problem is I do have to move Oral here. So, let's move you right there. You can peck. And... Stab, I guess. There you go. Alright, now... Ardana throws some Quelling Moss. That is good. There we are. Alright, and... Let's see. Most of them are dying from that. Except for the Spectix and the Bellhop. We also have this Bellhop behind us that we have to worry about as well. Um... Pinning it? Let's see. Squeeze, grapple. I might just... Pin you? I might just pin you. I... Think that will... Be fine. Let's see, and then what else do we have left? Evaner... You could move here and hit them. Rumor Could do a skunk spray on all of them, and then that would basically confirm that yes, we, we are killing all of them this round. Let's do that with you. 
68% chance, but... Okay, we got them all. Alright, they're dead. Uh, we're gonna stun you. All of them, all of them are definitely dying, so... Joe... Let's see, so Beller... You move right here. Slam. Joe, you move right here. And crush. There we go. Millie, you move right here. And arch. Hopefully this works. Good. Okay, so you're not moving. We've successfully pinned you down. That is good. Okay, and then Evaner, you move right here. I don't think your your throw axe can reach. So yeah, chuck a throw axe. Um, and we have plus block with this, so we are gonna hold hold here with that. God, poison is so strong. It's so incredibly powerful in something like this. Oh shit, you did actually live. I uh, I math wrong there. That is a coachman. Which I am very scared of. Uh, wardrobe. Okay, you're you're dead next turn. I don't have to worry about you. Um, Ardana. Let's see. I could get you like right here. Would you be able? No. I should have went. I should have went on that side and and done it then. You can shoot to apply a little bit of poison. This will actually kill the Watchman, so let's do that. Well, especially if you- <laughs> oh god, sorry. <laughs> especially if you do that, and we had the Lover's Vengeance buff as well, so. That is quite good. Okay, so the grapple doesn't actually do that much damage by itself. Um, so I might have Beller sit there. Uh, you are no longer pinned, so I might repin you. Let's do that, yeah. So now you can't follow us. The coachman is on its way. Yeah. It's not fun. It's not fun. Um... We don't really have a lot of ways to lock it down currently. Uh, what is this? Rubble? We could do a Bone Lance. But Stealing Fire is probably going to be the best thing to do. The Skunk Spray is not going to reach that far. So let's... I could get into you, or I could get into this for next turn. Let's, th let's do this. Discus. Oh, well, no, that doesn't reach. Never mind. Um, so, yeah, never mind. Let's actually do what I said and get into some different things here. Let's withdraw from you. Okay, and you're gonna armor up and guardian up. You're going to armor up and guardian up. And you are going to go right here and guardian. That's dead. That's pinned. You're on your way. We're almost to the place I need to get to. Okay. Okay. I didn't think you were gonna be able to just go over the wall like that. Like, over this pit, basically. Did not have that in the cards. We'll be honest. Uh... Hmm. Um problems, because this thing has stupid amounts of HP. Uh, Ardana? I think I'm going to have you... Let's see. Ooh. You can't melee strike from there. That is unfortunate. Um, swap. Um... Okay, I th think we can kill this this round. If I have everyone focus it. It has 32 HP, but I think I can do it. So to start, let's do a throwing axe, which applies to poison. Also goes through armor. Now, we 
Quelling Moss it for four. Or I could just do the Throwing Axe again for more Armor Shred and two Poison and three damage. Yeah, let's actually do that. It's more damage. Basically, it's just not as much damage over time. And now we swap weapon and sh I can't actually shoot you. Um, and I can't stab you either. I can shoot that thing. Okay. Um, well, let, let's let's see some other things first. So your armor's down a little bit now. I can crush you. Evaner is out of the stuff I need. Oral can get in there and peck it. Okay, let's let's get Oral in. Peck and strike. Okay, that's pretty good. You can crush. Okay, and it has four poison, so we don't need to do too much more damage. Beller. You get in here, slam it. Ow, oh, it dodged. That's annoying. Um. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> How far can this thing move? Which one are you? You're this one. Okay. Uh, I think if Millie moves into the corner, she is safe, and I can swap to the bow. This is actually coming in handy here. Shoot you, and you stunted. That's fantastic. Okay, it's gonna survive with one HP unless I do a little bit more damage to it. Um, so, Ardana does not have to focus it. Ardana can shoot this thing. There you go, and it's dead because of the two poison. So, with that now, Rumwar can... Go into this. Bone Lance. You. There we are. And yeah, now we can just have Evaner stab it, basically. Or just hit it with the axe if we want to really confirm here. Yeah. Alright. Cool. Coachman down. That thing I don't believe can reach us. Um, so we should be good here. And we've taken out most of the enemies. Which is not what they told us to do, mind, but... Oh god, Ramor is actually grappled. We need to kill that thing. Oh, and so was Millie, it actually made it! Damn it! Yeah, since you moved, it had the, it had the movement needed, I suppose. So you're pinned while the grappler is alive. So was Ramor. Um, let's see, I can strike you. That's not going to kill. We're probably going to have to have somebody else help us here. The disc won't make it. The bone lance won't make it. Okay, okay. So, we'll focus on Rumwar in a second. But we need to worry about some of these other characters. What I would really like is to be able to make a bone wall to just block them off here. But I don't think that's gonna happen. Uh, mm, 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 mm. Uh, can't hit both of them with something like that. You can swap weapon, but we don't have any of those left. Mm. This is not ideal. Um, aha. Okay, so this is definitely what I want to do with you, because I can... Damn it, I can't peck it to kill it. There's a chance if I stunt, this kills both of them. Good. Or, oh wait, no, I didn't need the stunt. It's just a... Yeah, it's it's your broad strokes. Okay. Um, that is done. Millie... Can pin both of them... You could pin both of them, which would be ideal, but then you wouldn't be able to move yourself. And there's a chance you would just miss. And we really, really need to start getting to that room. Like, now. So ideally what would happen here is I just free you. And maybe Evaner stays behind to protect you. 
or to like cover your escape since he's way way tankier how much does this do and it hobbles you not quite enough to kill though yeah and I don't I don't really have a way to confirm that at the moment actually I could have Joe come in and attack as well four to six damage let's do that because we don't like I said we don't technically need Joe Oh, so Millie loses the grapple because I pushed you. Oh, that's really good. Um, Millie, if you put this right here, both of those get pinned. This Amelia does not, though. That is really strong, however. Could you still pin them if you were here? Yes, you can. Okay. Do it. Both of those are pinned. The sommelier is not. But that is fine. Evaner, move up here. So that is not pinned, but I don't think it's going to be able to get to me. No, it super can. So it will shoot Millie or Joe, depending. But we're good otherwise. So let's get Beller down here. And then I could move Beller over there, but... I'm kind of scared, honestly. Uh, Quelling Moss for these two. And... Let's see, they're going to be pinned the next round. So they're not going to be able to do anything. So that one will die. This one will be close to dead after this. So I actually think we can just move. Like, get out of here. Or I can kill that. Let's kill that. Uh, Beller, I'm scared to move you that far forward, so... Um, I can hit the wardrobe with you, Rumwar. You're very, very squishy too, though. Um... Maybe we kill the sommelier instead? More damage on that would be nice, but... I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit the wardrobe. This scares me, however, but we have we have warding on Rumor, so hopefully it won't be a problem. Yeah, you attack Oral instead. Good, 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 good. Okay, and you hit you hit Joe, that's fine. Okay. Oh my god. There's a lot. These bell hops are very annoying. God, there's so many. Okay, um, Ardana, I'm gonna need you to get up here. I'm gonna need you to get up here really, really badly. Um, so you get right there. We definitely need some Quelling Moss. Good, got the poison on all of them. Uh, you move up here, Beller. Okay, Rumwar. Could skunk spray them. Alternately, discus. Hmm. If I skunk spray them, there's a good chance like just all of them die. But we'd still have to worry about the spectic, and I really don't want you to die. <laughs> um. So we have Ardana, We have oral. Oral could get in there and make sure nothing bad happens there. Joe can just run. Um, Millie, you can get over here. Um, you could shoot something. Not a very good chance of hitting anything, though. Uh... Swap weapon. Mm. Yeah, we need we need to withdraw from. I mean, I I could splinter blast like these dorks, just to do a little bit of extra damage to them. Um, do that, I guess, just so we can kind of get them off our back a little. Evaner, are you the one? You're, you're the one that has paladin. You're the one that has paladin. You just run in there kind of uh, block for us here. 
And you, Oral, can walk in, peck this one. It's not enough to kill, unfortunate, but... Uh, swap weapon... Guardian... Guardian, and then Rumor? Now that you're safe a little bit... Skunk Spray? Yes! Okay, one of them dodged it, but the rest of them are effectively just dead. Good. I'm scared that there's enemies in that fog of war over there, so I am still terrified of moving you forward. Like, there's not an enemy spawn there, of course, but still, it's a little spooky. Okay. And they're still chasing us, but I don't think they're gonna catch us. Oh, stressful. Very, very stressful. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. You're still doing your shit. God, there's such a just smorgasbord of things over there. And that's a weldling now too, which is annoying. Okay, the bellhop should die next turn. Okay, yeah, there's just more of them coming. Uh... Let's see... It poisons them. And you can keep running. Alternately, ah, oh, it's not fire, it's flare. That's not nearly as useful. Um, I would love to be able to poison the wardrobe, but for lack of anything better, that's fine too. Actually, I could just do it twice, and then they're dead. Mm, not the spectic, actually. Nah, no, let's let's move with you, run more. I don't want you to really be in there like that. Um, Quelling Moss tossed out for these dorks. This would confirm the kill on them, and you could still move after. And then shoot the wardrobe to get it to stop spawning stuff, ideally. Or throw. Yes. Yes. There we go. Okay. Everything there is basically dead. And we can check this room. Get in there. Okay, there's a door. Good. There are more than I thought there would be. Leave the Morthagi, just get inside. Okay, we're good. So all yeah, it was a it was a circumstance where all I had to do was just have him touch the room. And we're kinda good. We are not screeching metal in my dreams. Still intact, I can't believe it. That looks important. The heart was made to give spirit to our own soldiers. It was useful. Is there a button somewhere? Or... Uh, well, to work, it needs a willing person to fuse their soul to it. Without that, the Morthagi have been able to use their own constructs against us for centuries. But if you had a willing soul, the constructs would become agents of the heart. Sounds like that would make this fight considerably easier. With the base under our control, we would be much more helpful in the fight against the Morthagi as well. That's not... it's not like interfusion, right? Fusion is permanent. Ugh. The upside, however, is something akin to immortality. Wait, what? Oh, ho 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 he he oh. oh. Immortality, huh? Immortality. Hmm. I kind of... I feel like out of my characters, the one I'm the most crazy about currently is Ardana. But if I'm choosing, like, a character that I think fits it most personality-wise, it would be Millie. Millie would totally want to be like, Ah, cool, I, I helped the heroes by becoming a Morthagi. You know? That would totally, totally happen. Like, this seems like something Millie would want to do. So, I'm gonna choose Millie. I'm gonna choose Millie. So, you're gonna- you're gonna have a more thoggy body. So, or... No, it's- maybe it's not a body thing. Ooh, I gotta be careful here. So, the fusion is permanent. The base under control, we should be more helpful in the fight. Okay, so no, we're fusing to the machine. We're fusing to the machine itself. 
so this isn't like I don't I don't think this is going to be a party member that travels with me kind of like Beller and Joe here I think I am straight up giving up a character that will now just be stuck here fused to this machine it says sacrifice so I did just give Millie a cool upgrade but like I said out of these characters the only one that feels like it most makes the most sense from a plot sense from a plot standpoint is Millie, and I'm also le the least attached to them. So... Millie, get in there. Wait, you're volunteering? You certain? You've still got people out here that need you. We're all meant for something. We're lucky we're beaten over the head with a feeling when that thing shows up. I had a similar feeling when I became part of the Crusaders of the Famous Scarab, but this is... They're coming. We're going to do this, we need to do it quickly. Yes. Oral didn't watch. Oh, I know it's terrible, but it would, like, basically having control over some of the soldiers would be an incredibly, incredibly awesome boon to have. I thought I was going to get a more thoggy party member for a second, but... He heard noises he couldn't quite place, but there were no sounds of pain or fear. And I mean, you know, like I said, it feels like something Millie would want to do. You know? Like, to help everyone out. Thump. Thunk. Thump. Millie will be able to help out the Crusaders of the Famous Scarab forever, effectively, now. Open the door. They will aid you. Alright, let's see what we're up against. I have friends. I think. Yep, two bellhops. Three bellhops. Okay. Okay, so now we just gotta go see what we're up against in there. Millie! Millie is an enduring heart now. That is like, that is like cool storyline. I, I do like that. I could have went with the no, I'm not sacrificing anybody option, but I feel like the gravitas of the situation and how important all of my characters think this is, because, you know, like the fate of humanity and stuff kind of hangs in the balance here and all that. Like, it's very, it's a very important deal. Like, I don't know if I needed to do that to actually win the fight from a gameplay perspective, but I really, really like the storytelling ramifications and stuff of it. It's an interesting decision, so. All right, I think I'm going to save right there. It's gonna be in the middle of a battle, but we've been going for like 53 minutes and I need to get this video rendered and up, so. Yeah, we'll pick up the rest of this fight next time, so hope you enjoyed and I'll see you then.